And yes, we are live. Welcome po. Magandang umaga, tanghali, gabi sa inyong lahat. Welcome na naman po sa isang episode ng Pinoy Lokal. This is yours truly, the Big Daddy, Benny Davis. And of course, with my beautiful partner, Grizel. Gandang tanghali sa iyo, Grizel. Magandang maulan na tanghali po sa inyong lahat dito sa Pilipinas ay napaka maulan na naman pero don't you worry because we're here to give you another another best na mapagmamalaki na naman natin partner dito sa Pinoy Lokal one of the best talents here in the Philippines artist na alam mo talagang hindi lang artist siya ha? Ang dami pala niyang okay pa rin. Hindi. Ang dami. Hindi lang siya mabilis no? sa music. Hindi lang siya mabilis sa music partner. <laughs> Mukhang hot na hot din to sa kanyang mga fans. So, Sobrang anyway. hot. Sobrang hot. Sobrang init to. Sobrang init to. Okay. We'll um, get para... to know him more. Di ba? Bago muna namin pakilala ang aming special na panauhin ngayon, pasalamat muna kami sa producers namin, si Vince Obilio, and si Ruth Bagtas for making this possible. Maraming salamat sa inyo. Ang lakas namin talaga kay Sir Nino Alejandro. Thank you, thank you. San tawag lang. <laughs> Ito na siya. Without no further ado, please welcome singer, songwriter, musician, actor, commercial model, music producer, at di nyo na itatanong. Dati rin siyang DJ ng WRR. Please welcome Sir Nino Alejandro. Sir Nino. Hello, hello, hello. Kamusta? <laughs> Kamusta? Benny Davis and of course Miss Chriselle and sa lahat ng mga nanonood at nakikinig ngayon. Guys, I'm so happy to be here, guys. Thank you. We're so happy that you are here actually. We're so honored to have you today. Thank Maraming you so salamat. much. Maraming salamat. Yes. Maraming salamat pinaunlakan mo ang aming imbitasyon, Sir Nino. My pleasure. Thank you, thank you. Um, uh, friendly. Uh, uh, go ahead. 
I'm sorry, medyo nagkaroon ng konting um, lag lang. Yeah, just like uh-huh. I said, guys, so happy to be here. Maraming maraming salamat nga sa invitation, especially nga kay, uh, kay uh, Sir Vincent. So, ayun, uh, just just so happy to be here with you guys. Ako sobrang happy kasi ang dami kong flashback with you. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> Kanina, dami niyong okay. kwento. Okay, unahin kong flashback <laughs> with Sir Nino Alejandro. Kami ni Sir Nino, nagka, ano, kada upang palad na kami, hindi ko na sasabihin kung exactly kung anong specific na taon nito, basta in the 90s or early 2000s, na-interview ko na rin siya. Actually, dati rin siyang DJ ng WRR. Si Sir Nino noon, kung tama ako ha, was uh, promoting his uh, album Nocturnal. Tama ba ako doon sa Nocturnal? Yes, yes. Yun? Second, second album. <laughs> second yun, album Nocturnal. yun, yun, yun. My yun. gosh. <laughs> Second second album pa lang yun. Classic yun. And yeah, dun dun tayo nag nagkakilala when I, that was the first time na nakabalik ako sa station after uh, I I moved from radio into uh, you know mainstream music and and uh, entertainment. Yeah. So you know after WWR ba may radio DJing ka pa? Nag-disc jockey ka pa? Or continuously? I mean, tinigil mo na pag no. DJ More on ang conti- pala, music industry. Yeah, yeah, tumi- yeah, tumigil na ako. I, uh, WWR was the only station that I was with. And uh, I was there for about a year, almost a year and a half. And um, yeah, it's great experience. and dami kong natutunan. Ah, uh, daming mga masasayang memories, daming mga kalokohan. Uh, good times, good times. Sir so, Nino, yeah. itatanong ko lang sa iyo, ano yung ano yung nami-miss mo sa mga listeners noon sa ngayon, yung fans noon na, na tinatawag well, natin noon. Difference? Anong yeah. difference ng mga fans yeah. noon? Fans natin yeah. noon sa ngayon. Well, okay, para sa lahat ng mga ano, papaalala ko lang ang ang edad Uh, <laughs> back in those days kasi wala, wala pang internet talaga eh. wala pang internet eh so there was no dial up pang taga wala pang you, wala yeah I remember we, we used to have a dial up uh, connection and so That's it right. was like you know it, you, you, how you get your music was sa radyo lang talaga yeah it's like you'll either makikinig ka sa radyo or manunood ka talaga ng TV and then yeah uh, Yeah, yung like they always said, 'di ba? Meme nga siya, 'di ba? Na yung original Spotify nga is yung makikinig ka nga sa radyo tapos nakaabang ka dahil i-record mo sa cassette. May record mo sa cassette. That's right. Yeah. Um, That's right. You know. Diba? Tapos And, uh, you cannot just so, you know, rewind so it. Before... <laughs> And repeat no, it, 'di ba? No, no. So yung, yung yung connection, yung connection sa listeners saka sa fans was different before eh kasi um You know, parang that's the only way na na maririnig ka or aabang talaga yan sa radio. And I just feel yeah. na before kasi with radio, it was it was the only medium talaga talaga sa studio. So, uh, yeah, yeah. It, iba yung mong lagay ng fans dati. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Actually, how can it be interference? Sandali lang, sandali, sandali lang. Ayun. Uh, Sir Nino, balik tayo sa iyo. Kasi po meron atang, uh, meron atang bagyo ngayon sa Philippines. Dali lang, uh, try ko ulit ipasok si uh, Rizel and si Sir Nino. Naglalag ba? Okay. Yeah, medyo naglalag ka. Oo nga. Naglalag si Rizel, I'm sorry about that. No Sir Nino, pasensya ka na. Medyo nagkakaroon tayo ng It's okay. technical problems. Yeah. Sir Nino, uh, with, your, with your story earlier, yung uh, listenership natin, I mean, listeners natin noon sa ngayon, kasi ngayon, madali na lang, eh. i-like ka lang nila, i-follow ka lang nila, andyan na sila. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, now kasi na the, uh, the fans and followers and stuff na uh, not just me as an artist, pero me as a fan and a follower of other Uh, people online na you have direct access na kasi pwede ka nang uh, mag-comment directly sa post di ba? or yung iba nga talagang nag-DM talaga they, you know, baka sakali mabasa and stuff um, 
So parang iba yung connection na yan compared dun sa connection noon with, with through radio, through television. Um, so yun nga, parang I feel, I feel it was more, um, mas, mas sabik yung uh, maybe before. Kasi talagang alam nila na ito, ito lang yung time slot na aabangan mo na uh, alam mo na may mo yung idol mo or makikita mo yung idol mo. You know, so at in person talaga in so, person talaga pag gusto ka nilang makita pag gusto ko nilang tawagan in person Giselle medyo may problema ata yung oo oh, nga I'll come oh, back oh, okay. connection yep so ini no anong anong mm-hmm. nami anong nami miss mo doon sa mga panahon na yon pagdating naman sa okay, well, pagdating sa pagdating sa fans and pagdating naman when you are when you're playing some music um Ah, uh, dati sa station sa WWR, dumadalaw yung mga li- listeners, yung mga fans sa uh, sa mga favorite nilang mga di- mga jocks, mga DJs dati magdadala sila ng ng pagkain or gusto ko lang uh, makita, yung iba nga mm-hmm. yung gumagawa ng artwork, you know, para bibigay sa iyo. Um, Fun sign. Sweet, very very sweet and thought So, thoughtful things like that. I guess masasabi natin yun yung mga original na fan sign. That's true. <laughs> Adjust ko lang tong ng height nito. Yeah. So, so yeah, Nino, that, that, those were those were the days. Mm-hmm. Sir so, Nino, ang tanong ko pa sa iyo ngayon, syempre um, lahat ata napasukan mo na ng talent, meron ka singing, songwriting, composing acting, tapos kumakanta ka rin sa mga commercials. And then, I heard, nung nag-migrate na ako sa States, nagtiyatro ka na din daw? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a theater actor. Galing. I started uh, in, my, in my first show in 2013. And up to this day, uh, right up, up until the pandemic, uh, yeah, I was doing uh, yung mga Broadway musicals na pinapalabas dito sa, sa, sa Pilipinas. Galing naman, nag-evolve ka talaga. Lahat talaga na-try niya, no? Oo, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Pero may tanong ako, Nino. Misip ko lang nabalita, nag-teatro kayo, sir. Alam mo yeah. na, teatro mas grabe ang emote sa teatro, eh. Yes. Mas yeah, mas natitest ka sa theater, eh. Discipline, diba? Iba yung discipline, iba yung discipline, iba yung approach. Um, and it very, very good training siya. Pero ano, Nino, I have a question. If, if, sure. ano, kung papipiliin ka sa dami mong talent, sa tingin mo saan ka mag, yung pinaka-favorite mo, yung talagang sa tingin mo, kung papipiliin ka, yung gusto mo talagang maging? Um, hmm. I, I guess my first love talaga is, uh, I, I, performing in general. I guess, medyo you know uh medyo very general yung sagot na yun because it's whether i'm singing or I, i'm acting basta may tao na nanonood and then i i can connect with them on an emotional level yeah. uh that's what i love the most um you yeah. know and uh so performing I, I, talaga i love i love being you know but it's funny because i also i love songwriting and i love producing for other people so it's like I all ay para mahilig din ako sa you know to be behind the scenes and to help other artists you know na umangat and stuff. That's, yeah, that's nice. You know, I guess I guess uh, uh, parang I don't know how long uh, in my life I'll be singing so I uh, but I have to be involved in music you know one way or another whether in front of the camera or or behind the scenes. Sir Nino, baka naman nagdi-direct ka na rin. Hindi mo lang sinasabi. Malay mo. Hindi <laughs> natin alam. Nagdi-direct ka na rin ba? Nagdi-direct ka na rin ba? I had the opportunity to work with some very, very good directors in my career. And uh, syempre na I, I watch them and they, ment- they mentor me. And syempre, to, it's a lot of mga aspects ng career ko. Kahit nga yung personal life ko. If you... You you take what you learn, tapos si apply mo, you know. So, but pero in directing, I don't know, maybe one day. Pero sa ngayon, I I I I can't think of myself in that way. So we have a question here, actually. Sure. 
Okay, from RJ, one of our uh, DJs here at 89.5, mm -hmm. Shasi J. Weber, of course, also a mm -hmm. radio DJ. Ayan, good mm -hmm. noon, Sir Nino. Any favorite memories as a radio DJ at W double R? Ayan. Okay, um, favorite memories. Um... I'll say that there's two favorite memories. Um, nung una, nung trainee pa lang ako, nung nagsispin pa lang ako at hindi pa ako nagsasalita. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember, I, I, yung nag-kinetrain ako, uh, Martin D was there, one of the guys training me. There was another gentleman, si John Allen, mm -hmm. uh, ang nag-train sa akin. And parang I was doing everything. Sila, sila yung taga-salita, but they were making sure na familiar ako with, with all of the... Uh, the technical stuff. Uh, and I remember at that time, bagong bago pa lang yung tutugtug ka ng MP3, hindi na CD. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yung first board work ko ever na solo ako na walang nagbabantay sa akin was probably one of my favorite memories because uh, honestly, it, it parang hindi ko alam yung I had no idea what I was doing. Pero I, it, it was when bumitaw sila, na I really mm -hmm. felt na I could create the atmosphere of my show. Alam mo yun? Kasi lahat tayo may personalities, eh, di ba? Yeah. And I feel that the first time na hinayaan nila ako, I was able to come up with my own style and uh, how I'll talk to the people, how I'll, you know, kahit nga time check, di ba? May kanya-kanyang style and you know that that would be one, and then second time is you know uh, as a jock, I I got to meet some amazing artists uh, and interview them. That's um, true. Those were some some pretty cool uh, experiences. I got to I, I got to meet Boyzone. I remember I got to interview the Cranberries. Oh, nice! And then uh, if I'm not and I'm, if I'm not mistaken, uh, bagong bago pa lang yun, hindi pa sikat yung NSYNC. Oh, nice. O, sa mga nagtataka dyan kung ilan taon na kaming lahat. <laughs> but yeah, these are um, amazing memories of Nino, syempre. And uh, uh, RJ, si RJ kasi, I think RJ is from WWR too, right? Benny? MOR Baguio naman siya. MOR Baguio pa na siya. Nice, nice. Baguio naman, MOR like, dati siya. Pero he's now in the States as well. Oh, nice. Sir Nino, sa lahat ng mga ginawa mo, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, singing, songwriting, music composition, theater acting, commercial model, ano pa bang digi, nag, nagagawa ni Nino so Alejandro? Man. Bukod sa magaling pa magluto ng nilagang baka. <laughs> <laughs> o baga ba yung mga bucket list pa na hindi pa na check um, Well, uh, marami, marami. I mean, when I look back, when I look back, uh, it doesn't seem like it's been such a long time. Kahit, you know, uh, I, I just entered uh, 20, 20, 25, 26 mm. years now in the industry, in the mm. music industry. And, uh, you know, it doesn't, feel, it doesn't feel like that long. There are times na, syempre, you know, when you're, when you're busy working and stuff, you're in a ka and everything. But parang I, would never, I would never change, you know, uh, the decisions uh you know my decision to to do this uh, um i think na you know parang you, you look back and you you just uh may, may time, bigla matatawa ka na lang eh. you know it's uh you know good memories it ev everything that happens to us turns us into the person that we are now that is true you know so mm -hmm. you Sir Nino, meron ka, bang, meron ka bang performance na masasabi mong talagang very memorable sa'yo na talagang uh, up to now naisip mo, napapasandal ka sa upuan mo? Ang galing ko dun. Ang galing ko dun sa performance na yun. <laughs> ah, kasi ako, kasi ako, kasi ako, ulit-ulit um, kong pinapanood yung The Voice mo na Highway to Hell. Para sa akin, lupit mo dun eh. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Ako so, din, gusto ko yun. Grabe yun, uh, grabe yun. I like it. Thank you. Ikaw, Sir Nino, thank meron you. ka bang, you can, uh, like, visualize well, any... I, I never ko hmm. naman, 
I'm not really the kind of person that will go na oh yung galing ko diyan. Mm-hmm. Or I, I don't think of those things. I just uh, naging memorable lang, naging memorable lang. I'd have to say na yeah, that that's definitely uh, there diyan sa sa top of the list. Yung yung blind audition ko sa The Voice of the Philippines sa mm-hmm. uh, um Galing that, mo doon sir? Kasi at that, yun yung pinaka parang comeback ko sa 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 industry kasi na, mm. na naglaylo ako for, yeah. for many years. Mm. Uh, in between yung I I probably parang hindi ako lumabas sa TV for about 8 years. Yeah, but I was still performing, you know, in, in theater, tapos medyo underground na sa bar scenes, tapos gumiyahe ako, uh, I I lived and worked and kumanta ako sa mga iba-ibang bansa. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, I've done a lot of things. Uh, very colorful. Pero yung yung time na yun na nag audition ako sa The Voice. Um, I'll be honest with you. Ngayon ko lang sa to. Uh, originally, <laughs> oh, like originally, it. originally, I was very hesitant to do it. Uh, really? To, to, Why? To audition. Why? Well, be- well, because unang una, you know, um. You know, hindi na ako bata. I'm not young anymore. Yeah. So, um, you know, so I, I, I was, I started my singing journey Sorry. in 19, 1995. You know, so, um, parang sa mga nakakaalala sa akin noon, my first album, dyan nga, like Nocturnal and all of those things. Nino. <laughs> yeah, and, <laughs> and then, um, yeah, after that, you know, it came at a time that I, 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 I was major burned out. And I I, t- I kind of walked away from, you know, uh, performing and everything. So yun yung bumiyahe ako, and I started you know, doing many odd jobs and stuff. And then I got I got married, and I we I had uh, we had our baby, and I was actually working in a uh, I had a day job. I was working uh, a corporate job in a in a BPO, and then. I remember someone told me that there were auditions for The Voice of the Philippines. I was a big fan of yung US version of mm, The mm. Voice. Yeah. Um, I felt it I felt it was a different approach kasi on the yeah, usual si- singing contest. Kasi More on talent talaga eh, no? Ang tinitingnan yeah, nila eh. Kasi you don't see the looks. <laughs> yeah, especially in the beginning, di ba? Kasi uh, nakatalikod yung mga nakikita yeah. yung, yung mga coaches. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I really mm-hmm. liked that concept. And then they were the first um, show kasi na, na that was open to someone na may career na or something na. na yeah. Na, na singer na dahil. Artist before, na before. Like, the are other ones kasi like idol or mga ibang ano it was like you kailangan never ng recording wala kang manager wala kang mm-hmm. label wala kang ano brand mm-hmm. new ka fresh na fresh dapat you know sure. hey ako hindi na ako fresh eh. <laughs> so, lang tayo eh. <laughs> um, you know when 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 I was watching The Voice, I remember they were telling me, well, "Look at this show! Look at this show!" And then I nakakita ka na mga singers from before na kunwari dati may hit song, you know, matagal na yun. Bigla mag audition sa The Voice. Nakita ko yun sa US version. Sabi ko, "Bago okay to ha? you know." Uh, and uh, so yun, bigla nagkaroon ng ng version dito sa Philippines. And at you know, may nagsabi sa akin na, "Oh, may The Voice of the Philippines, so oh. uh, they're like, "Why don't you audition? Why don't you audition?" So, nung una, you know, parang I, I didn't really take it seriously. I was like, no, I, I parang tapos na ako sa sa part ng buhay. I, I, I honestly, and it's, it's kind of sad, hindi naman sa nagdadrama ako or anything like that. Pero mm-hmm. I honestly felt na yung performing part of my life was over. Because, Ay, nangyari uh, din sa akin yun. Nangyari din sa akin yun. <laughs> parang medyo you know? nasa, ako tinablan ako oh, doon. <laughs> Parang, yeah. parang move on yeah. to a different venue. Tama, tama. Yeah. It's like our, yung uh, time yeah. na yun nag pass I, by I, na. I was, I was thinking, I was thinking nag-office na ako, may anak na ako. Sabi ko yung, I started very young, so yung, yung mga fans ko, <laughs> siguradong matanda na rin. You know? Um, <laughs> so I was like, may, does, the, does anyone still want to see me? Does anyone still want to listen to me? Sabi ko, paano kapag kumanta ako, 
you know, at walang umikot. You know, sabi ko, I, I don't know, parang nakakatakot. Sabi ko, I, I don't know if I could take that, you know, uh, kasi feeling ko, I mean, uh, I guess, you know, it, one television show or a, a one song shouldn't define you. Pero, yeah, yeah, that's true. Malaking bagay. Kasi it's on, it, it, it's on the biggest stage on the most popular show. So, yeah. and you're just thinking, parang it's like, kapag, if in, iniisip ko, kapag kumanta ako at walang umikot, parang mali yung choices ko sa life. That's yung, true. <laughs> but parang, why did I choose to do this? You know, so, you know, but I, 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 I really thought about it. I prayed about it. I spoke to my family about it. Uh, and then they said, you know, um, napa, alam, nakikita naman daw nila kahit hindi ko raw sinasabi na sa loob-loob ko, part of me still wants to perform. Mm-hmm. You know, part of me misses the audience. Part of me misses the music. Um, so they said, you know, parang use it na lang as a, you know, uh, whatever happens, bahala na. You know, parang subukan yun na go out there and do your best and have fun. Kung, you know, kung may umikot at may mangyari, that's great. Pero yeah. kung wa- walang umikot, you know, you gave it your best and maybe it's really time na para makakakuha ako ng closure na yeah. tapos na nga yung perform <laughs> mm. ko. You know? I'm so, like I said, sorry maging dramatic. Mm. You know, no, 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 no. No, no, no. It's that, but you know what? Nangyari din sa akin yan, sir Nino. Nangyari Ako din. Lalo na ako din. Lalo na ako. But you know, Nino, it's nice that you join that contest you want to know why because it brings back a lot of memories like hopes also from other artists na shocks eto tayo noon but still mm. look at nino he can still sing perform with others you know whatever ha- like what you said whatever happens kung makapasa o hindi but you know naalala ka namin eh ito yung lalaking raspy yung boses oh. <laughs> <laughs> tapos meron ka pang times doon na natatanda kung paos na paos ka na pero you really tried your best singing that song you know and <laughs> it it kind of yeah. you know for me like me I, it 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 gives me hope also and i i can, i could still try it diba it's not because marami ng artists na bago ngayon we 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 tend to hold ourselves diba it's really nice mm-hmm. you know what what you did was really great it also brings Thank back you. memories diba you know i'm proud din yun, 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 yun ang masasabi ko talaga na one for the books yun sir nino yung oh, performance ako din thank you ako din kung hindi niyo pa sa mga na <laughs> sa mga ano uh listeners and viewers natin if you haven't watched it yet hanapin ang uh, you know Nino Alejandro the voice well, mm-hmm. the song, I I felt that song was uh, appropriate kasi dami ko rin pinagdaanan you know to get to to this point um and the opportunity not to to be coached and mentored by the one and only Lea Salonga um you know is is invaluable you know uh, whether you know I, I always make a point na guys talo ako sa the voice okay pero okay lang hindi you know ganun talaga pero the opportunity to be on the show to work closely with uh with uh Miss Leia with coach Leia was uh you know it's it's um th- things Pal- that I learned hanggang ngayon even though that was years ago Um, mm-hmm. Malaking bagay yun, sir Nino. Sa lahat. Totoo yun. You know, it's, it's, uh, no, it's, um, and, and just even up to this day, years later, the, the, she's still uh, ever, she's a presence in, in my life, in my, in my career. Uh, every show that I do or every new song na uh, i-release ko, um, no, magme-message yun eh, na parinig, parinig. Tapos she still gives mm-hmm. her feedback. And then the, I remember so there was sweet. a time, one, one of my one of my singles. I remember she was like, "Oh, may ni record kang bagong song." I remember she was in she was in New York, um, and and it was like 4 a.m. Uh, here in Manila, uh, and then we were talking, and then it's like, "Pare uh, yung song," so it's like I I'll email her, and then bigla magi email back na may mga notes. Ganito, 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 ganito. 
So I remember now in my mind I was like ito na yung song tapos na yung recording yun na yun. Pero dahil like mm-hmm. siya ng notes and and then I mean I sinabi ko talaga she even sent me an MP3 of her singing the song. Na ganito mo parang we'll try this do this. And then pinad on her phone and she sent it to me. Naka-save yun. Hindi, hindi ko buburahin yun kahit kailan. <laughs> um bumalik talaga kami sa recording studio. Sabi ko Oh, hindi mo tapos na itong song na to. Hindi, may mga may mga babaguhin tayo na... May mga inserts si Miss Leia. Yeah, may mga, <laughs> mga baguhin natin to. So, and uh, yeah, you know, just, uh, you know, uh, people, we have the opportunity to work with her. And then the it paved the way to work with so many other amazing artists. Yung dati, you know, um, hanggang ngayon pa naman, uh, idol, mga idol ko, the opportunity to work with them, uh, for example... One of my biggest idols and influences is, Mar- is Martin Rivera. Um, mm. mm-hmm. You know, but through through opportunities in The Voice and just, you know, being exposed to these amazing people and then now to be able to call them my friends and now to be able to call them, you know... Uh, colleagues. Uh, you know, colleagues. <laughs> it, it, it blows my mind, uh, you know, but uh, uh, yeah, just uh, it, 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 it's so mad memorable to me. I, I cherish that. You know, so mm-hmm. yun lang masabi ko. Nino, sa dami mong colleagues <laughs> na tinatawag mo ngayon, sino ang pinakagusto mong makakollaborate? New artists, old artists, foreign and local. Hmm. Ayan. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, okay, let's take it one category at a time. Alright, uh, let's go local. New. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Local new. Okay. Um, I would love to collaborate with. Uh, hmm. I'd love to collaborate with Ben and Ben. Yeah, good choice. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, I would love to collaborate. I'd love to create. Um, hmm. I already got to collaborate with Nicole Asensio. Right? Yeah, so she's she pretty. She's on my I, my list. She's of really I pretty. Admire. <laughs> she she's oh she's pretty and she's amazing. I mean, yeah, she's the, the a good pretty, singer bonus actually. Bonus na lang yon. Bonus na lang yon. And now she's but she's really she's, talented. She's an amazing artist, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, oh yeah, I I mean uh, she's so talented. And then you know on top of that she's just gorgeous. Um, so I got to I have to work with her. And then, uh, okay, let's go local. Um, let's say older, established. All right. Uh, off the top of the bat, I would love to have a duet with Leia Salonga. I would love to oh, also work yeah. with. Uh, mm-hmm. I would love to. Hmm. My gosh, there's so many. Uh, I'd love to work at least with three Salonga, with Regine Velasquez. Oh yeah. Uh, I would love to work Great. with. It's funny because. Plus, uh, I'd, I'd love to work with this other girl. Uh, sa tagal na namin magkakilala at magkasama, never pa kami nagkaroon ng recording together. Her name is Rachel Alejandro. I miss Rachel. Oh, oh nga. Ang dami ko nang pinroduce na kanta na sinulat na kanya pa, uh, para sa kanya. I But know. we've never been on a song together. We've never been on a song together. Maybe, maybe one of these days I have to produce it. Oh, Miss yeah, Rachel. But... <laughs> <Yan na. laughs> I know, pero malay mo, magka-show kayo ni Miss Rachel I with Bagdas right. Productions. I mean, we, we, we <laughs> right? That. Mm-hmm. that would be Now, great. I'm going to show kasama we did was in 2019 pa. That was... Uh, pre-pandemic pa. And uh, mula nun, hindi na kami yeah. nag, uh, nag-show together ulit. So, you know, fingers crossed one of these days. You know. Ayan, Bagtas, baka naman. <laughs> But you know, they, Bagtas Production had a successful show with Rachel. You know? Sold out. Yeah, congr- really, sobra sold out. Three. Imagine more than sold out pa. <laughs> As in, sobrang punong-puno sila. So, I, I guess Bagtas yeah, has also heard. plans with 
Bagtas has also plans with Miss Nino. So, watch out, North Carolina. <laughs> Ayan na. Wow, Malay natin, di ba? That would be great. I know. But I was talking with Vin. Sabi niya, um, he's really planning na sana maging successful talaga ang next shows niya at madala ka na niya sa America to have this show. And Miss Nino, there's a question here sent just private mm-hmm. message me, sa akin. Sabi niya ganun. Okay. Is there any place that you haven't ano, performed that you really want to be there on that place? Parang pag nandun ka na, ito na yung one of your bucket list na talagang nakanta na ako sa lugar na to. Okay, well, it, it, uh, it used to be Araneta Coliseum, but I had the opportunity to perform there na, uh, to mm-hmm. step on the stage. Uh, nakasabi na ako ng... Good evening, Araneta. Ming Araneta. So, yeah, go, yeah. <laughs> Talagang, <laughs> you know? ano yan? I don't let the singers mangarap yan. <laughs> oh, it's true. It's true. As, 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 as silly as that sounds, But it's that's true. It's... it's true. You know, I had, I've had the opportunity to perform at, at, the, at the MOA Arena. And that's, it's just breathtaking when you stand on the stage and you see it's really big. how big right? that is. That venue is that was you know it was it was part of a big concert that I I I, I was a guest in, and uh, yeah, just you know just to see that many people all at once uh, was uh, breathtaking. Huh. Okay. I guess uh, if we're gonna shoot for the stars, talaga. Um, I've never I've never been. I've I've had the opportunity to travel uh, a little bit. I've been to diff- two places, but I've never been to Europe. I, I really hope na may mga kababayans uh, sa Europe that would love to uh, give me the opportunity to perform for them uh, you know, uh, one, one of these days. Uh, so yun, kung may mga taga-Europe dyan, you know, oh, you know, I know. Nino, Nino, Nino Alejandro, <laughs> and kantahan kayo. <laughs> diba? Um, I mean, I yung mga, uh, sa Europe, diba yung mga Coachella, Coachella rin nila doon. Ganun sila doon, eh, diba? Dami rin mga festivals na ganun, na crazy, yes, diba? Yes, festival. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You want to be you know, there? Sa mga ganun din, to. to be part of it. Yeah. yeah. Ang, ang live audience kasi, uh, I don't mean to say this in a in a negative way. I, I mean it positively. The audience, yung connection ng audience, yung applause ng audience, yung love ng audience, it's like a drug. That's okay, true. Um, it, it's it's you know, diba? yung, I felt diba? that <laughs> when you when you feel it doesn't matter kasi sinasabi nila oh diba siguro yung oh, applause sir ni no eh iba eh oh yun yun eh it doesn't ma- I've performed in front of four people and I've in- performed in front of I don't know 50 60,000 people before <laughs> and you know um it's there's nothing like it doesn't matter kung kahit naka-perform na ako sa bar na apat lang yung nanonood pero as long as yeah. nag-connect ka yeah the connection it's and, true and 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 you somehow move them it's still just as satisfying you know kasi yung energy yung inspiration ng isang performer nanggagaling ta- i mean 50% of it is syempre you know kung ano yung conditioning mo kung ready ka, kung nasa ano ka. Yeah. Pero a, a lot of it is from the audience, you know. And when you when the That's moment, true. you know, you see an audience na appreciative, na pumapalakbak, all the more na para kang parang yung adrenaline mo mas lalong do double ti triple, you know. And oh. uh, it's it's you know like when, when I'm when I'm uh, when I'm doing a, a musical, let's say it's funny the most of the shows that I've been in. Um, uh, uh, you know, our the musicals, but the, I, I was in a show called Waitress. I don't know you're with uh, Ogie, and para siyang, para siyang stalker, admirer, na harmless naman. He meron siyang nililigawan na, na waitress dun sa diner. And, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, sorry, yeah. <laughs> you know, and, uh, so parang it's like uh, yung character ko, you know, sumusunod dun sa isang waitress, parang bumubuntot ako dun, even though the girl doesn't like him, pero very persistent siya. And uh, so parang, uh, uh, you know, I, it was pretty physical comedy siya kasi I was jumping on tables, I was sliding on the floor, 
may, there was at one point nga na parang pinapa cartwheel nila ako ganun ganun so parang very <laughs> very very uh very animated yung character and uh so yung mga ibang lines ko uh, the way the script is written the way that uh, direct uh, or you know parang natawa yung audience dun sa character so parang na base namin dun it's like kapag nag-start yung show at narinig mo kunwari may may line na nakakatawa so lahat kami backstage nakikinig the moment na sabihin yung line na yan at ang lakas ng tawa ng audience we're like ay ako you know okay itong audience na to yeah. di ba parang game sila di ba or may mga times naman na kunwari sa part na usually natatawa yung tao tapos maririnig namin konti lang yung tawa yung tumawa yung crowd. we're like nako nako paano to you know so parang dodoble namin yung efforts na na uh, mag-relax yung tao it's the same thing when you when you're doing a concert you know uh kunwari they'll introduce you lalabas ka parang in a way na feel mo rin kagad you know uh, if 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 this audience is uh, like this or like that you know so parang and syempre it affects it affects yung performance the performance the performer yep. yeah the performer. diba mm-hmm. diba because at oh, the saka, performers, ano? uh I, I, you know uh lahat kami you know uh lahat kami kulang sa pansin uh, as performers uh, we, we, uh, we, 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 we all we all need to be the center of attention <laughs> yeah and well, it's yeah. true at one point sometimes you know ang energy talaga ng artists we draw it sa audience eh, di ba oh, yes. minsan may mga audience sobrang hype up nag pati tayo nagta-transform na din. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Parang yung mga yung mga stances na hindi dapat ganun ng <laughs> areglo, mm-hmm. nag-iiba. Yeah. Dahil kasi, oh. di ba, we were given a chance. Iba talaga. But speaking of this moment, like, when pandemic hit, syempre, mm-hmm. did you discover something from yourself? Nalungkot ka? Mm-hmm. Nadiscover? Or na, na-depress ka? Or did you find another talent? sa panahon ng quarantine. Gumaling ka magluto ng nilagang baka. <laughs> yan nilagang baka yan. At nakakurious na ako. Ayan, ino. <laughs> okay, during the pandemic, um, ako, I really like to work with my hands talaga. I like to, makalikot ako sa gamit. I, I, I like to refix things. I like to, to, to make things uh, if I can. Um, during the pandemic, dahil, especially nung simula, nung, hindi pa natin talaga alam kung ano yung COVID, kung alam kung ano yung coronavirus, di ba? Ang utos lang sa atin, stay inside, di ba? Stay inside. Don't you, parang kung ano-ano yung mga pinapsit. Um, meron akong, when I, I had to go to the grocery, di ba? And then it's like, in, yung hindi pa talaga mandated kung ano yung mask, kung ano yung face shield noon. <laughs> Suits pa, you have to sanitize. Parang pang sundalo, oh, di ba? Naka-hindi oh ako, tapos suit-suit ko yung isang parang shirt jacket ko na pang army, naka-gloves ako. Oh. Tapos na parang, parang, my God, Nino. Parang punta sa gera. You know, sa state, di sila yung... naging ganyan. Tayo oh, lang dito yeah. sa Pilipinas naging ganyan. It was, it was, it, I, I just came to the state. It's, um, Last month, I was for the pandemic because uh, you know we go on tour and stuff like that. Bila, nung nagkaroon ng lockdown, pandemic, mask, everything. Big. Pagkakaroon ako ng opportunity travel to. Kami lang talaga yung ako at yung anak ko. Uh, kami lang talaga yung nakamask. Um sa US, all right? And 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 it was so strange and so I don't know, parang nakaka-nervous nung una kasi na alitin yung mask kasi yun yung tinu- <laughs> yun, 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 yun yung turo sa atin dito sa Pilipinas, di ba? Yeah, so, yeah. Parang we're there and then lahat ng tao walang mask and then parang everyone's just so close to one another and we're like, oh my gosh, parang been rainwashed tayo na yeah. ganito. So, You know, but I, 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 for safety's sake, you know, I, I, 
ako tsaka yung daughter ko and everything we 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 kept the masks on at all times the only time na tinatanggal ko siya talaga it was on stage you know mm-hmm. you know but Pero, uh, you know, parang <laughs> talaga Hello. Going back to that, going back to the question. Alam ko medyo nagfi-tour tayo no. <laughs> we scare. All right. One of the th- uh, mga mga natutunan ko natutunan ko during the pandemic. Okay. All right. It's funny kasi kanya-kanya lang eh. Tuto ako mag-vulcanize ng gulong. Oh hey. wow. <laughs> Galing. Talent 'yun, sir. Oh, ah, mahirap Ay, na mag-vulcan. <laughs> mahirap yun, ha? May tanong ako, van ba yan o sedan lang? <laughs> Kasi mahirap pag van, partner. Galing. Ayan na, nawala atin. Nito Alejandro's vulcanizing shop. So, hindi nyo nawala siya. <laughs> Uy, mahirap mag-vulcanize. Alam Ay, ko na naplatan na. Yung... Hindi ko kinaya yung kotse ko. <laughs> Kahit nga, gusto yun. Mulong... Buti nga, may Oo, tumulong tayo. Nanay ko, naglakad talaga. Ipaakit na tagay tayo. Talagang alam mo naman doon, di ba? Wala oh. ng tao. Tapos di ba hinabog mo po yung tumulong sa'yo, tapos na wala. <laughs> Teka <laughs> lang. Pa- Sir Nino, ayan. If, ayan. Ayan, very good. Nakabalik na. Mm-hmm. Maybe kung maka... Benny, can you put him down and put him okay. again? Ayan. Yeah, yeah. Try ko lang, ha? Try ko lang, Sir Nino. Uh, yes, Nakabalik. yes. Ayan. And... Yon. Or maybe, ayan. Ayan, you're back. You're Nino. back, Sir Nino. Is that better? Yes. A little. Sir Nino, oh, so okay. kailan, ang, kailan ang plano natin mag-volcanizing shop? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> kailan ba plano mag-partner tayo ng volcanizing shop? Okay. Ay, okay. Sir Nino, maybe if you can uh, try to go in again. Maybe go out and then try to go in again. I hope you can hear. Yeah. Maybe I, well, I should message him. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Sayang, nawawala. nawawala I siya. know, anyway, kasi uh, alam mo, umuulan eh. Correct. May two shoutouts muna tayo kay Fast Diaz, Vincent Tobilio. Sir Vince, maraming maraming salamat for making this possible. We appreciate it. Si Sir Vince, it. may pinapabate. Sige lang. Si may pinapabate siya. Sa, sa lahat ng mga primes, hello sa inyong lahat. Okay, Kathy Menes, Jersey, kay MC Jonas, J. Weber, Johnny Rhythm, sino ba? DJ Edgy, uh, Mastermind JV, and Yoey, hello sa iyo. <laughs> and Habang kumukulo. Happy, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yeah. Ayan. Partner, pinapabati ni Bagtas ang Umak Balikbayan Box. Ayan. Quick pack and ship. Uh, Faz Diaz, hello. Thank you sa lahat ng sponsor daw nila sa show ni Rachel Alejandro. Ayan, Ayan si thank Sanino. you so much. Balik, balik Ayan si na. Yun. There you go. Much better. Okay. Alright, Sanino. Hi, guys. Yung internet, alam nyo naman. I know, it's raining. It's Filipinas, exciting. Live the live. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Hindi ka naman na-ano, hindi ka naman na-injury, sir. Mga, ano? Go ahead, go ahead. Ano na? Yeah, hi, hi naman... to Vincent and hello hello to Miss Ruth. Nice to see you guys here. Hope you guys are enjoying. Okay, I, I'm sorry, what was that again? Medyo choppy? Well, sir Ruth, ay, Sir Ruth tuloy. <laughs> 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 sir Nino, hindi ka naman na-injury <laughs> nung nag-vulcanize ka. Mahirap yun eh. Hindi ka naman nasugatan. Hindi naman, hindi naman, awa ng Diyos. All right. Good, no, good, no. Good. And the other thing na natutunan ko is uh, natuto ako mag, maglinis ng aircon. Na, as in, nag-service oh. ako ng mga aircon namin dito sa bahay. Binabing, Ang galing. Binabang, Mahirap yan, ha? Linis. Mahirap na, yan, ha? Galing. O, o galing, na, ha? Nahanap, sa ng talent. Nahan, nahanap ko sa YouTube. YouTube talaga, dahil matututunan, no? Totoo yan, totoo yan. So, Nino, ito pa, ito tanong ko sa'yo, next question ko sa'yo. Pwede, pwede mag-pass, pwede, kung hindi, kung hindi, walang, walang, walang ibang choice. Walang ibang choice.
Yan. Okay. Sir Nino, ayan, ayan. Sir Nino, next question ko sa inyo. Uh, you think having uh, relatives mm -hmm. in the music industry nakatulong din sa inyo sa career nyo? Lalo na siyempre ang Alejandro ang inyong last name. Ah, uh, okay. Um, that, and yeah, that's uh, I, I get asked that a lot. Um, I'll say na nakakatulong in the sense na you you get to meet people. Uh, you get to meet people and you know, parang simply put, parang you get, parang makakapunta ka sa meeting, di ba? Mm -hmm. But that doesn't yeah. guarantee na makukuha mo, makukuha mo. Okay? Uh, may, may, it means na they'll listen to you, di ba? But that doesn't mean na makukuha mo na, oh, okay, porque pamangkin ka ni ganito, o pinsan ka ni ganito, ah, sige, go na yan. Di ba? Mm -hmm. uh, it still depends on, you know, if, if you deserve it. Um, I, I was told, I, I Parang it's still up to me to to close the deal. Now I still have to be something that uh, that the client or the label or the management company uh, feels is deserving of of the opportunity. Um, parang you know, parang my tito Haji introduced me to people, but that yung label niya said no to me. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, because it, it, I just I just wasn't the right artist for them or baka hindi pa ako ready noon or yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. Basta, I heard no so many so many times uh, and uh, you know, parang which is why kapag nakarinig ka na nga, nakaranas ka na ng yes, parang kang sinagot ng girl na crush mo. Diba? <laughs> na, it's, it's an amazing feeling. The first Ultimate time I feeling. heard yes from mm. a gig or a record label na who wanted to work with me you know, because submit and ang submit, ano yun? As cassette sa kalumang karaoke lang yung gamit ko, sa yung gitara ko, tapos gumagawa ako ng mga demo, mga ganyan, mm -hmm. tapos papasa, masasabihin la, masyadong raw, o masyadong ganito, or so, parang syempre, kailangan in this line of work, kailangan malakas loob mo, kailangan True. ang pal, ang balat mo, because you, you, ha, you will deal with a lot of criticism you'll deal with a lot of rejection yeah um parang relationship yeah <laughs> yes that's uh, true na kapag nandiyan yung chance na may nag oo kailan hindi ka pwedeng na ay oo ba ay sandali lang may aano lang ako no no you have to mm -hmm. uh, i was trained na uh, at any moment na kapag may magbibigay ng opportunity sa yo. You have to be able to take advantage of it, you know, and uh, do your best to, you know. And I think, and I think, sir, you know, those rejections became your fuel. Kung nasan kang yon. That's true. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the the downside of it nga. Yeah, I was. You're asking about uh, having a famous last name or having famous. Uh, relatives in the industry. Makakatulong, yes, in the sense that, like I said, it'll get you the meeting, but it's also to work against you because yeah, uh, it, <laughs> I know how, how you... sometimes the audience now has has an unreal has an unrealistic standard that you have sure. to meet because of who you who you're related to. So I remember it was like, oh, I I don't sing like my Haji, I don't sing like Rachel. They're amazing vocalists. Oh, mm -hmm. I, I try to do the best that I can. And it's a different style from them. Uh, and, you know, it's it's something that, you know, you still have to work so hard on. It doesn't just mean that, uh, oh, okay, diba? Parang kamagana, kaya yun na yun. You still have to work yeah. hard. You still have to practice. Sure. You still have to master your craft. At ngayon na... Nakilala kita ulit na lubusan, Sir Nino. You became more versatile. Nagumpisa ka na ballad and pop. Ngayon, nagra-rock alternative ka na pala. Grabe yeah. Ev evolution na ginawa mo. Galing nga eh. Mas Grabe. bagay. Sa akin, for me, mas oh. bagay kay Nino ngayon. I like it. 
Saan ka mas komportable na ngayon? Hmm. Um, the, I had a realization in my career. Uh, I started off in as a pop singer, a pop balladeer. Uh, but there's a, there, there's something, especially the advice stuff for for younger artists that are trying to discover their voice, their style, their artistry. Um, you know, parang I, I feel na you have to work uh, with what you're given. Kung sa kasakali sa baraha, kailangan diskartehan mo kung ano yung dinil sa yon, de ba? So I remember growing up, I listened to all kinds of music. I used to listen to rock. I used to listen to hip hop. I used to listen to R and B, pop, anything. Kai three, I used to listen to because I I just love music. And then parang I I get influenced by so many different things. And you know, it's mas lalo na yung sumikat yung mga boys to men. Yeah. Yung mga Brian McKnight. R and B. Back in the day, ang gaganda ng mga sure. That's diba? true. And I, I, I want. I wanted to sing like that, you know. You um, mga <laughs> I just like, so impressive, and so I know. Uh-huh. The thing is, uh, I had I had to come to the realization that even though I wanted to sound like Brian McKnight, uh, Brian McKnight, yep, I sounded more like Brian Adams. <laughs> or something like that. You know? Natawa like, ako dun na. You know, <laughs> Bakit daw? Diba? <laughs> Naging Brian Adam. No, no, no. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't sa- I, I don't sound like, let's say, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, an urban, an urban uh, yeah. R&B singer. I sound, you know, I, I, I sound like a white dude. You know, so, uh, I sound like a white guy when I sing. So, yeah. in, Pero embrace, alam mo, in embrace ko na lang yun. Ano? Go ahead. But, but, but the thing is, you being a rocker, um, bagay na even sa personality mo, sobrang bagay. As in, talagang nagmatch ka talaga na nung napanood, oh, oo, oh, yun napanood ko siya. Lalo na nung sa The Voice. Yun na, yun nakita ko siya. Kasi naalala ko nga yan na, syempre, love songs, heartbreak oh, songs baladeer. din yung pinsa niya, baladir yung uncle hmm. niya. Pero nung he, when he tried doing some alternative rock, nag, nagulat ako eh. Sabi ko, this is Bagay different from before. Yeah. Yeah, Ang galing. I mean, Nahanap I... Na I, I ni, ni, tamang, tamang templa talaga niya. Oo. Oh, oh. I, I wish really? we can see more ano, Nino, ah, of your performance. Uh, oh, la, sana really? bumalik na. <laughs> sana bumalik sana, na ang sana. shows dito sa Pilipinas kasi lahat sila nag-aalisan pumupunta ang Amerika. <laughs> but anyway, Nino, since speaking of uh, songs, artists, and everything, you have a record label right now, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, you're producing some artists as well. Maybe you can invite them and introduce sure. some of your artists as well. Or maybe we can in, uh, interview also some of your artists, di ba? Lalo na yung mga release Yeah, oh. that would be great. Maybe you can invite them, Nino. Uh, we can do that. Set up natin. Um, ang tawag nito is, let's, uh, the name of my label is Rebel Records uh, Philippines. Uh, it's a sub-label of Warner Music Philippines. And uh, yeah, I just want to give a shout out now to Miss Sarah and to Sir Kelly of Warner Music. Uh, thank you so much for taking such good care of me and such good care of my artist. I uh, really, really appreciate that. And then, uh, yun, uh, my music is produced by Rebel, released by Warner. Um, I have uh, yung mga singles ko, yung Sigaw, One More Try, tsaka yung uh, song that I'm very, very proud of, yung Ngayong Gabi, uh, featuring the very lovely Nicole Asensio. And then um, I have a new single coming out very, very soon, written for me. It, it's, I, I love it when I get the opportunity to collab with, with other songwriters. Because uh, as a songwriter myself, songwriters, we have a tendency to write our own songs. But when all of a sudden you, you, you know, with one of your other colleagues, or in this uh, uh, particular case, an OPM songwriting legend, uh, the one and only Venny Satorno, uh, reached out to me and said that he has a song so gumawa siya ng song na para sa akin. So, nice. you know, you, you don't, oh, you don't say no to, to that. 
Uh, it's, it's entitled na wala na. It's entitled na wala na. It's a it's a rock ballad, you know, and it's, it's you know, I, I I don't know. I think Alejandro's. Uh, we just have a um, <laughs> for ballads. Uh. <laughs> not, not just ballads, pero sad songs. Na bawal kami I know, yes. Yeah. Bawal mo magi masaya. You know. Grabe, yung mga songs you nila, know, eh, no? You know, so I, this song is called Nawalana. It's it's about, you know, uh, some relationship, some pag-ibig na nawalana. You know, it's it's so straight to the point and talagang direct sa puso talaga na yun ang nangyayari sa atin, wala na to. Parang, <laughs> wala lang pag-asa. Wala na to, gano'n. Wala na. Alam mo yun, yung parang nandun ka na, hindi na kayo nagmamahal, mm-hmm. nagtitiisan na lang talaga. You know, so <laughs> you know, so abangan nyo po yun. It's entitled na wala na. It's uh, it's gonna be coming out very very soon. Produced by Rebel, released by Warner. Now my the other artist under Rebel. Okay, I have an LGBTQ artist, uh, very very talented uh, singer from from Guam, USA. Actually, kasama ko rin sa the voice dante si Mama Char. All right, uh, 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 amazing. Uh, R&B artist, okay, from based in Guam, USA. Abangan yun. Yeah, he has. She has a single entitled "Funky Love." Hanapin yun lang po sa sa YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, wherever you get your music. And then the other mm-hmm. artist who I'm very very proud of. Uh, ako yun nag conceptualize at nagbuo at nagproduce nito. They're a P-pop uh, girl group called Daydream. Oh, okay, Daydream. Okay, uh, yeah, you should check them out. They have two. Uh, uh, hit singles here in Manila uh, entitled Fallen For You tsaka yung chart-topping song nila yung Lumayo. Na so para sa mga mahilig uh, uh, you know for all those let's say K-pop fans out there guys there's such a thing as P-pop alright so hanapin nyo there's so many amazing artists here uh, and especially hanapin yeah. nyo yung siyempre galing sa Rebel yung Daydream alright okay ayan we can't wait for that Maybe you can also Renina, before, send us uh, your I, music. Before I ask my last send question it. for you, before, before we before we wrap up, kindly invite mm-hmm. them if you have any shows coming mm-hmm. over in the states or there in the Philippines. In the states, uh, still uh, still looking for working our, on it. Our, our our upcoming shows. Okay. You know, God willing, in the states. Dito sa Pilipinas, we're quite busy. Mm-hmm. Um, Every Saturday night, I am at the El Calle Music Hall in the Newport World Resorts, formerly Resorts mm-hmm. World. Yeah, uh, every yeah. Saturday night at uh, there at the El Calle. Every Tuesday, naman, I'm the headliner. It's like a residency that I do at the Winford Manila uh, Resort and Casino. Uh, every Tuesday night, po yon. Um, and then, and then September 16, I'll be in BGC at Craft. Uh, the craft mm-hmm. uh, rock grill and San Pabat, September 24 at La Culina in Poblacion Makati. Mm-hmm. And off the top of my head, uh, and, and sa lahat ng mga kababayan natin sa, in the land of the rising sun in Japan, kung, may, kung meron man lang, uh, magkita kita po tayo very, very soon um, nice. for some, some special uh, stuff that we're going to be doing over there. Oh, that's nice. That is great. And and Alan and Joss, I hope I hope to be back in the U.S. soon. I hope to visit North Carolina uh, soon. Yeah. Because I've heard I've heard such amazing things about the place and especially about the makababayan natin janon kung gano ka you know kung paano kayo magmahal you know and uh, oh you know so I'm fingers crossed. I'm hoping uh, to be there to be able to sing for you guys. So, my, my comments dito, sabi ni Winnie Ching. Yes, I was just part of the show. show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, diba? Yes. Talagang follower mo yan. For Thank them too. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, ano pa ako nun? What do you call it? Uh, high school. Gosh, 1992. High school. High school pa ako nun. <laughs> so, you know. Tuesday group. Mm-hmm. Ayun. So, you know, ito lang ang ano, ang huling uh, pang uh, tanong ko sa iyo bago tayo mag-wrap up, ano. Ano mm-hmm. ang sa tingin mong sikreto mo para tumagal sa industriya, sa music industry? At ano rin ano rin ang pwede mo maipayo sa mga bagito para magtagal sa mu- music industry natin? Okay. Um hmm. 
My gosh, what a question. Napa isip ka, sorry. <laughs> no, it's just um I I I feel na if like I was saying kanina, in continuation uh nung sagot ko kanina, kailangan lagi kang handa kasi hindi mo alam kung kailan darating yung break mo. Okay? Uh it it not not everybody gets a break uh in the industry. Um you know, which is why there are times nga na Kunwari, you'll be in a restaurant, di ba? Na bigla makikita mo, makasalubong mo si uh, sikat na producer or sikat na singer yeah. or something like that. And then all of a sudden, papakantahin ka. Di ba? You have to be ready. Hindi pwede, ay, wala akong, wala akong dalang minus one o wala akong dalang gitara o wala akong, hindi ako pwedeng kumanta ngayon. It can't be like that. Eh. You have to take advantage of the opportunity. You have to be ready. And you know when you are given that opportunity you know uh take advantage of it always never never dapat maging contento sa you know sa talent more anything like that always do what you can to make yourself better um learn new skills you know um like ako i i focus yeah, i i eventually got into acting uh as a, I've always been a musician, but I said I want to become a better musician. So talagang I, I, I practice, I rehearse, piano, guitar, the other you know, instruments that I play. You know, para kapag ginamit namin in a show, you know, uh, di or they, they can really, it's, they know that hindi lang basta novelty, gimmick, or anything like that. You know, you just have to continuously humble yourself uh, because... You know, uh, none of us are entitled to this. It's a yeah. gift. It's a gift that you have to take care of. Never take it for granted. You know, and uh, most importantly, you know, find your voice. Find your voice. It's not about copying this person or copying that one. It's not about being the next so-and-so. Be the first you. Okay? That's... Um, you know, it, it, it took me a long time to discover my true voice because, you know, especially being compared to, you know, uh, giants in the music industry that are in my family. Uh, yung mga tao na nagsasabi, no, oh, dapat, you know, hindi mo naman kabosa si Haji or hindi mo naman ka, ano, si Rachel or something yeah. like that. You know, sabi ko, it, it, it's true, you know. Um, but, uh, you know, I, you have to be you. And it's so funny. I just here before we go, I want to give a shout out here. Another uh, rebel artist that's going to be debuting very, very soon uh, is my 15 year old nephew um, from Ooh, Arizona nice. in the US. This nice. kid is amazing. He, you know, I wish I could do what he does now when I was 15. Um, his name is Jordi, Jordi Alejandro. Bale, uh, anak siya ng younger sister ko. And this kid um, is just amazing. I can't wait. It's so funny how when I use this term, I can't wait to unleash him. Yeah. Nice. Onto, onto the scene. It's going to be so much fun. Uh, I remember Rachel had a, um, she, she told us about it when, uh, when we had an interview. Si Jordi mm -hmm. ata yung lagi niyang, uh, ito yung, may show siya na nakaduit niya si Jordi. And she's really well, I, happy singing mm -hmm. with him. I I guess okay. yeah. I, 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 I remember I that. Don't think, I don't think um Ra Jordi's performed with Rachel. Perhaps Rachel was talking about my daughter, si Bella. Ah, baka si Bella, yeah. But yeah, meron yeah, siya kasi she, sabi niya. Na, yeah. Oh, so she sings too. My daughter, yes, my I have an eleven year old daughter who also sings. Galing. Nice. Uh, Runs in Mama, the family. <laughs> Galing, eh, no? Uh, mana siya sa kapal na mukha ng daddy niya. Uh, <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, she, she, my daughter wants to be a performer. She wants to, I know, and, uh, you know, my, my daughter, my nephew, I'm here to support them, um, to g give them every opportunity to follow their dreams. Uh, I'll do what I can to help. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll, that, that's how I am. Hindi ako, I, 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 I make it a point you know, to try to not be selfish with uh, with the little that I know. You mm -hmm. know, uh, sh sh share ko lahat 
and uh, you know do what I can to help. That's Appreciate good. that. At Very least. well said. Sir Nino, nako, maraming maraming salamat. We took your time already. Pero huling tanong ko lang, ano ulam nyo? Panang- <laughs> <laughs> ah, lunch na eh. <laughs> Actually, yung ulam namin for today, I think, is chicken adobo. Chicken Yun, adobo. Oh, okay. yum. Ikaw ba nagluluto? Yeah. Nagluluto ka? Nagluluto, nagluluto ka? I, I, I love to cook. Like, my dad kasi is a chef. Okay. Oh, oh nice. family, tayo, different talaga ang chef. Tayo, tayo, <laughs> tayo, I, I, I always say this, uh, uh, if I was not a musician or a singer or a performer, I would have loved to um, become, a, you know, taken up cooking more seriously. I love to cook. Para sa, my wife cannot cook to save her life. Ako yung nagluluto. My wife is a very, she likes to bake though. Magaling mag-bake. Oh, okay. Yep. Pero, Specialty. Yeah. Tawag nito. But um, I, I, you know, tayo mga Pinoy, we, we, we love music and we love food. Those are the mm-hmm. two yeah. things na That's ever right. present sa pamilya. You know, those are the things that make us happy. They make us smile. And my, my, my family was so full of music and so, you know, uh, and food was so important to us. My dad, my mom, uh, my lola. It's you know, parang syempre, we all we all believe na yung food na kinalakihan natin is you know syempre, sa atin, the best yun eh. But uh, yeah. you know, parang I always cherish uh, you know the the food and the recipes that my family has, and I I want to do my best to 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 emulate them and to teach um, my daughter. You know, same thing. Mm. Anak ko mahilig sa music at mahilig din magluto. So shout out nga <laughs> once again yung Kay Jordi, tsaka kung yung parents ko, I'm not sure kung, kung nakikinig sila dyan sa, sa Arizona. Hi to mom and dad. If Jordi's there, what's up guys? I miss you. Love you. Hello din to Elmer Veracruz. What's up? <laughs> Mario also. Mario. Mario says the best advice. So I, same beliefs. It's my pleasure. Like I said, you know, it's, uh, it's a lot of the time... It's it's our attitude towards yeah. the activity that we're doing that um, it that plays a big part. It's a big percentage also, eh? you know, because you have to have the right attitude when you That's when true. you do something. Because, um, parang kapag nagsama-sama ko nawari, and tropa or something like that. Uh, Ayaw man, ayaw man naman ng tao na may na bad trip eh, di ba? Like parang nakakas, nakakasira ng vibe. You know, so parang it doesn't matter how talented you are if you have the wrong attitude and, you know, you aren't humble and you aren't polite to people. Mm-hmm. You know, parang they won't want to work with you. Professionalism so, and work ethics. Dami ko na naman natutunan. Totoo yan. It's nice yeah. that uh, you've shared this. Sir Nino, again, thank you so much again thank for this Thank you time. so much, Nino. Thank you for I sharing hope, your I, talent. Thank you for I sharing you this, guys had your a, journey. Had a good time. I had we had a great time. You know what? We learned. Naya ako sa iyo eh. Kasi more than one hour na baka kain na kayo. Oo nga eh. Baka di na nang... Pero alam mo, ang galing, you know, we, we've learned a lot from you also, di ba? I mean, like the struggles. And you... Uh, Picking up yourself again, de ba? There's always talaga. hope, right? Ito yung totoong I mean, buhay. Alam mo, yeah, parang I... nagising ako sa sinabi ni Nino eh. Pag Which kumanta ka, ka, niyaya ka kumanta, kumanta ka, di ba? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Totoo yeah, yun. Yeah, It's an opportunity. Pardon, hindi ako nakanta eh. Namahiyain ka eh. Namahiyain. Ganun ang training ng Filipino parents sa grandparents eh, di ba? Totoo yan. Grabe. Huwag. Kumanta ka, Sum- ka, kumanta ka, ka tinatawag ka, <laughs> nakakahiya. Nandiyan na yung mga bisita, kumanta ka na. Ako kasi, ang, yeah, kasi, ang kapal na mukha ako, they didn't have to tell me dahil gusto ko na talagang kumanta. Yeah. You know, and it's so funny because um, we I get to do that now to my daughter and I get to do that now to my nephew, Jordi. <laughs> you say, he's, you know, you sing, di ba? Yung mga, yeah. ganun talaga tayo mga Pinoy. Tsaka alam mo, sir, nice. you know, the best, the best part talaga, alam mo yung salo-salo kayo? No. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Alam mo, miss ko yan. Nakakamiss yung Pandemic, yun. nawala yan. Oh, <laughs> yung ah. Christmas ng Pilipino ah. every, yun. ano? Yun, yeah. anyway. anyway. Miss Nino. Nino. Ayan. 
Miss Nino. <laughs> Ay, sorry. <laughs> Nilabasa ko kasi si Winnie Ching. Sorry, sorry. Nagulat ako kay Winnie Miss Ching eh. Nagkuya no Jordy yeah. kasi siya. Sabi ko kay Winnie, kilala ba ni Winnie si Jordy? <laughs> 15 years old lang. Nagulat ako. Kaya mm-hmm. nga eh. Kuya, ang tawag niya. Kaya nagulat ako na wala ako sa focus. Mm-hmm. Anyway, Sir Nino, we're here to support you. So anytime you Thank release you. a Some single, please... Lang. Please do send it to us and maybe another artist that we can interview para maboost pa natin at makatulong ang 89.5 the playroom to your It's artist my and your label. Thank you so much for having me. Uh yeah, I will definitely be sending uh, uh more of my music and the music of Rebel uh to you guys and then if if we can set up interviews that would be amazing. You know, yes, thank you so yes. much for having me. Of course, Benny thank you, thank you. Yourself. And I want to like I give a shout out to lahat ng mga go go go. Lahat ng mga go ahead, go ahead. Comment. Thanks so much for for listening, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please support the playroom. Uh, you oh, know, thank for giving, you. For giving uh, a platform for for Filipino artists, both in the Philippines and you know in in all all, all around the world, uh, a platform for not just for our music to be heard, but of you know for our stories to be told. You know, yeah, um, thank you. Is, you know, which, which I think, which I think is what made today, you know, even extra special to me because I got to talk about things that I never get to talk about. There usually, mm-hmm. um, interview it's like oh, you tell you about the song, and then yeah. you know you ask everyone to listen to it. You know, but we're yeah. talking about <laughs> vulcanizing, <laughs> and we're talking about. Tapi sa iyo mga tanong ko eh, Nino. Yeah, oh. I know. Ask Benny. You're 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 well trained, man. I love it. <laughs> uh, you ask the important questions. <laughs> <laughs> But you, it's true, you. Aloma. Thank you so much, Nino. Mm-hmm. Very, we're very honored, actually. We're honored. Thank we're you so grateful. You. Thank you so much. And once, once again, thank uh, thank you and hello again to to Miss Ruth and to Sir Vince out there in beautiful North Carolina. Yeah. I, you know, I'm like I said, I'm praying about it, and yes. uh, I hope to see you guys uh, soon. It will be working with you soon as the Bagtas Productions will right. be At fixing. Makapunta ka na doon ng show mo. Right. Pero yeah, meron talaga sila. They're cooking a big a big event for Nino and a special guest so that I'm not gonna say. <laughs> But, you know, we're also excited because we're also part of Bagtas. Uh, we're mm-hmm. the official media partner of media Bagtas. Partner so, thank you. Uh, Bagtas. Yes. So anyway, Good. Nino, thank Nino, you so pano, much. Nino, thanks lang, ha? Much love to you and yes. your family. God bless you. Thank you. Thank and God speed you so to your much. journey. Tuloy, tuloy pa rin yan. Maraming salamat. More Dito power, you. Nino. You know, I, you know, all the love to the playroom, 89.5. Uh, can can I do it? Like, like, can I do it really quick? Yeah. I haven't done this in yes. such a long time. Go for it. Yes, please. All right. Yes, please. All right. Okay. Hi guys, this is Nino Alejandro, and I, you guys are listening to 89.5 The Playroom. Uh, time check right now is 1.20 p.m. in the afternoon. Turning it back to you, Benny and Chrisel. My guys, All right. we can see you, Nino. We appreciate that. I haven't done radio voice in a long time. Thank you You still have it. Here. Kaya, kaya. Sabi nga nila, once a DJ. Once a DJ, always a DJ. A DJ, di ba? Hindi ko kasi magawa yung... <laughs> Boy, miss ko yun ah Sa lahat ng DJs, namimiss ko yung ganong kalim na boses Wala na ngayon yun eh Namimiss ko yun talagang Alam mo yung mapapaisip ka, pogi kaya yun? Kasi ang pogi ng boses Mga ganon Ay, yeah. hindi, <laughs> hindi. Yung mga pogi ang... Hindi, never mind <laughs> Ayaw ko nung salita Ayaw <laughs> to RJ, to RJ as well. Sana pasado pa rin yung DJ voice ko. Na, na, Oo oh, naman. Na, kinakalawang na yung DJ yeah. voice. Pa like said, hindi, never, parang never hindi gawa, naman. Yung modulate. Yun. Never ko nagawa yun. <laughs> you still, you know, pagawa kami still got it. Ano, if you don't mind, pagawa kami ng video greetings sa'yo. No yung, problem. This is yeah. Alejandro. Just let me know. You're listening to 89.5 The Player. We play the hits. We play it we nice. We play nice. Ayan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nino, we'll send it to you. Right. Thank, <laughs> thank you. God bless you, Nino. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much, Nino. All right. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. We'll put you down. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, guys, maraming maraming salamat again to all our fans, followers, and viewers. Sir Nino, we are so grateful. We are so honored. Uh, much love to you and your family. Partner. 
Naya oh, ako medyo... ng sure na pahaba. Ako <laughs> din eh. Ang sarap na usapan. Oo, oh, oh, alam mo, ayoko sa sana ihinto, na. kaya lang kasi syempre, I promised him Hindi. also Hindi. for an hour top, sabi ko. Oh, <laughs> Pero yeah. alam mo, ang sarap kakwento ni Nino. Alam mo, for every artist na nai-interview natin partner, ang dami natin natututunan din. Oh, Hindi lang to... Natutunan. Di lang sa to sa stories buhay. of the unknown. <laughs> Dito rin sa Pinoy Lokal. Pero nagpapasalamat kami sa inyong suporta, guys. Please do support also our YouTube account. Panuuri nyo po ang aming mga shows doon. <laughs> At marami ho kaming surpresa sa inyo. But first, partner, may gusto tayong batiin. Happy, happy birthday. Sige nga, partner. Uh, nice <laughs> lang namin batiin ng happy, happy birthday. Our very own hitman. Si DJ Ramsey, happy, happy birthday to happy our video birthday. director. And uh, this video clip is for you. Ito po siya. Antabayanan niyo po ang aming video clip na inihanda para lang kay Ramsey. Happy birthday, Ramsey! Happy birthday! for sharing your talent with us and looking forward to working on more projects with you. Happy birthday, man. What's up, Playroom Universe? It's Jay Weber. Just want to greet happy birthday to the one and only, the hitman, Ramsey. Happy birthday, bro. Uh, more success in your career and more birthdays to come. God bless. The hitman, Ramsey. Happy birthday, bro. <laughs> Enjoy your day and God bless. Bro Earl, uh, better known as uh, the Hitman Ramsey of 89.5 The Playroom. Happy, happy birthday, say bro. Uh, siyempre, wish ko, siyempre, uh, more success, more birthdays to come. And I would like to uh, take this opportunity to thank you sa lahat ng mga ginagawa mo sa station natin. And... Um, Pag uh, wala ako, uh, hindi ko nagagampanan yung position ko or yung mga responsibilities ko. Ikaw ang gumagawa. Ikaw ang kwan. Kayong dalawa ni Jay. Um, again bro, happy birthday and uh, enjoy your special day. Hi! Ito po si Big Daddy Benny Davis. Napadaan lang para bumati sa isang napaka-special na tao. Happy, happy birthday to our very own video director, Ramsey! Earl, happy, happy birthday to you. I appreciate everything you do. Maraming maraming salamat sa lahat mga creative juices na nakokontribute mo para sa Playroom. Much love to you, brother. Wish you all the best. And uh, keep it up. Keep up the good work as always. Galing mo talaga. Thank you, thank you. Love you, love you. Earl, happy birthday. <laughs> Hi, Ramsey. Happy, happy birthday to you. I wish you all the best. Alam mo ba, isa ka sa nagpapalakas ng loob sa akin dito sa station to go through. I wish you all the success and more power to you. Believe na believe ako sa talento mo and lagi ka namin naaasahan. Sobrang pasasalamat namin talaga that we have you here in this station. So, happy birthday. We love you. Once again, happy, happy birthday to our very own Ramsey. Uh, we'll see you very soon. Partner, meron ka pa bang uh, well, uh, parting words? <laughs> well, anyway, guys, thank you again sa support nyo. Uh, we will have more of the artists here. More artists here at Pinoy Local. So watch out. Please do add us up on our Facebook account at 89.5 The Playroom. Ayan, partner. Back Ayan. to you. Thank you, partner. And once again, sa lahat ng ating <laughs> fans, followers, viewers, online, abroad, and worldwide, maraming maraming salamat po. Sir Nino Alejandro, Sir Vince. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sir Vince, Good thanks. Good Thank you, thank you sa inyong lahat. Palam na po kami. Happy, happy weekend!